We principally know Pepys through his diary, which he kept between 1660 and 1669. And this is an extraordinarily rich and candid account of a life lived in London during remarkable times. Science is coming through as a sort of very distinct discipline at this time, and Charles II has formed the Royal Society, a sort of scientific club, and Pepys attends some of these meetings and tries to understand what's being discussed. Pepys actually becomes president of the society, and one of his first acts is to see through the publication of Francis Willoughby's History of Fish. This is a huge illustrated encyclopedia of all sorts of fish. It's enormously expensive to publish. Pepys put £63 of his own money in, and £63 would be several thousand pounds today. At the same time, Edmund Halley, who we would later know as the man who discovers this comet and works out its orbit and will become Astronomer Royal, says he's persuaded Isaac Newton to put down on the page his great scientific discoveries, mathematical insights, gravity, optics, all of these hugely important things which will become the bedrock of modern science. But Pepys has to say, I'm very sorry, I've spent all of the Royal Society's money on the fish book. So there's a danger point here that Newton's great Principia Mathematica might not have been published. But Halley has independent means and he bankrolls the publication and it comes out again with Samuel Pepys's name on the frontispiece. And in fact, Pepys's name is as big as Isaac Newton's on the frontispiece of the book. 